there's the stand right now. It had burlap wrapped around it. So we're gonna recover that and we'll show you what you we're using for it. It lasts a very long time, a little bit more expensive, but works really good. Well, this is what we're gonna use on this particular stand to wrap. Uh, this is fabric. It's actually marine woodland fabric, digital, uh, that I purchased in one of the fabric stores. And it's a little bit pricey. It's about $12 a yard, which is pretty expensive, but uh, you get some coupons, some sales. You normally get down to about half price, so it comes out to about six bucks a yard. Uh, good things about it, it's heavy as anything. It's really heavy. That Again, that burlap deteriorates after a couple years. Squirrels get at it, and birds get at it, and as you can see up there, it's just hanging by shreds, and that was after two years, and there's basically none of it left. There's a little bit of that uh, mesh fabric, that plastic type fabric that's up there, but you can see through that, so unfortunately it doesn't really mask your movements too good. Uh, the other thing that you can get at your Walmarts, your sporting goods stores, Cabela's, etc., is that fabric that sort of has the 3D look to it. It has the, the holes in it. Problem with that, that one usually only lasts about a year. You get a good windstorm, and that's going to blow right off. So that's the good thing about this. Uh, and again, we do have the snow today. Uh, it does have a little bit of light in it as far as light specks in it, but uh, it actually matches pretty good. And what's, what's good about this fabric as it fades, and uh, let me sh pop in a, a little snippet right here of our other tree stand where this was up for five years. Yeah, we're at my uh, tree stand, my, my tree stand, the Brooks, one of them that I use. And put this wrap on here five years ago. There's not one tear in it, there's not one rip, there's not one squirrel hole, and as you can see, the colors fade to the point where it just blends right into the tree. It really looks part of the tree. Of course, the, the ladder looks a little bit different, but uh, as far as it hiding you up there, that is really the way to go. And it really looks fades into almost the bark-like, but the, the the real plus of this is the strength and longevity. If you do this once, most likely it's going to last 10 years. I'm, from what I can see on that, unless it falls apart over the winter or next year, we're at five and we're going into our sixth year. So as you can see, that lasted a long time and it actually blends into the tree. It sort of turns a little bit of a grayish color like things do in the woods. So this is uh, really good for that. One of the negatives about it, uh, it does have white on the inside of it, which is a negative because that's going to outline your movements when you're up there. But as we have with, with that tree stand up there, since we have a little bit of that fabric around it that's left, uh, that's going to blend right in and this and this white will actually in time fade to a gray color it'll it'll darken up too so it's really only that first year if you get it on your tree stand early enough uh, it won't matter and again this is a couple days before hunting season if you're watching this it's probably not going to help you for this year but it's something to keep in mind for next year uh, you can go in the fabric store so you can go ahead and, and look for this and get it on sale get a good deal on it and uh, uh, it's going to really come in handy. It's really going to last a long time. I have enough that I should go all the way around this, as you can see. So I'm uh, going to get up there with a the staple gun, start putting it up, and we'll take a look what it looks like uh, as we're going along on that and as we finish up. It stands a little bit frozen over ice. You know, the creeks are basically the ice, not the wood. See some more of this burlap that's worthless. Just tear this off and I'm sure the squirrels are going to come by and grab that and make a nest out of it. I'm just going to see how long this is for now before I start stapling it in. Perfect. Yeah, I think 
just start getting some staples in here. I'll get a few more on the bottom to stop it from flapping around a little bit in the wind. But as you can see, it didn't take very long. It's up. Big difference between what you can see when Syntax is sitting down in his chair. He's down about this level. So you only have basically shoulders, neck, head showing. Uh, across the front here, we also do have another piece of fabric that goes right across the front. So basically, you have a blind in the sky, which is great. That's Syntex 77 go up in the stand, and he's going to show you the piece that he puts on in the front. And we have a couple pieces of wood that he just threads it through. It doesn't get sewn in there or stapled, but it just goes between a piece of wood and the side. And just about there it is, just about. We're not doing it perfectly, just uh, for the video, just kind of give you an idea. So now if he sits down or simulates himself sitting down, basically I can ba uh, hardly see him. Let me go around the side. And there it is from the side. Barely see him. He will have his orange hat on, orange vest, of course. As far as being hidden up in the tree, like I said, basically a blind in the tree. So it's a great pattern. Blending in with the tree, it does blend in really well. It almost looks like bark. And uh, in time, it'll fade to that gray-brown color, as the bark does. And it will, it will be unnoticeable for anyone or a deer or whatever you happen to be out here for, taking pictures, whatever. And when you're using this, the normal way for the pattern to be would be horizontal yeah, but I found that actually you want to go vertical with it uh, like this just because it ends up matching the bark on a tree a little bit better than, than going across. It's really not critical but if you have the opportunity to make it make it uh, horizontal like that uh, just a little bit better to do it that way. Like I said not super critical but uh, just something to keep in mind. And this is heavy duty fabric. This is going to last a long time. It's not going to blow off, not going to rip. Uh, critters, squirrels, chipmunks can't get to it. So this is uh, definitely a recommendation for me for a long term cover on your stand. This is Weight Rook 85, signing out from Camp Goat Time, deep in the woods of Pennsylvania, about three days before the start of the 2013 deer season. A couple more staples will be done.